Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Reverend Dr. Glenn Jones coming to you. I'm Bishop, uh, Canadian Bishop for the PEC. And I was just spending some time here today um, just worshiping the Lord and thanking Him for His goodness and uh, how even in the midst of uh, difficult times uh, that he can turn it around for the better that uh, joyous things can happen um, miracles can happen sometimes not the way we perceive them or that we want them to be but when we sit back and look at them we have to admit that they are spectacular they they are from God and they are miracles and they are incredibly wonderful and uh, I was reminded of a story uh, a boy born with cerebral palsy was unable to speak or communicate but his mother Chantel Bryan never gave up and when he was 10 years old she figured out how to communicate with him through his eyes and a letter board can you imagine how much time and and just work and, and thoughtfulness went into that and how God must have given her the the insight in into watch his eyes uh, set up a letter board you know all these things had to have come from God and so she figured out how to communicate with him through his eyes and the letter board after this breakthrough she said he was unlocked and we could ask him anything now Jonathan reads and writes including poetry this is him he writes poetry <clears throat> by communicating through his eyes when asked what's it like to talk with his family and friends he said it's wonderful to tell them I love them and I, I get emotional about that because here is a person who other than blinking and yet the ability to do that and to say I love you to those around him is the most important thing in his life what what's the most important thing in your life can you think about that? Put yourself in that position. Would you be would you be thanking the Lord? Would you be uh, angry? Would you be lashing out at God? Would you be uh, giving up? Not Jonathan, not his mother. They saw this as a blessing. Jonathan's story is profoundly moving and leads me to consider how God unlocks us from the prison of sin. Amen? And as the Apostle Paul wrote to the Christians at Colossae, Once we were alienated from God, our evil behavior became... Uh, our evil behavior making us enemies uh, through Christ's death on the cross as we are now presented to God as holy in his sight. We may now live a life worthy of the Lord as we bear fruit, grow in the knowledge of God, and are strengthened in his power. Once we accept Christ into our heart, 
and we build that relationship, uh, we are worthy and we begin to bear fruit. We can use our unlocked voices to praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we need to do more of that. Amen. I think all too often we sit quietly in the pews and, and, and don't say anything. We just kind of hum along. But God rejoices in that. Uh, scripture says he resides in the praises of his people. And praise God and share his good news that we no longer are bound to a life of sin. As we continue in our faith, we can hold firm to our hope in Christ. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We are no longer alienated. We are unlocked. But I just want to go back just quickly. If we were in Jonathan's shoes, and I thought about that, how would I feel? And, and would it make me bitter? Would it make me uh, uh, so angry and wanting to lash out at everything around me? Yet that's not what he did. He, he, he turned his pain into poetry. Really, that's exactly what he did. He turned his pain into poetry. And the most important thing he said he could do was to tell people he loved them. Can we do that? The church, brothers and sisters, needs to do more of that. We need to start loving one another in a more profound way. Uh, strengthening, encouraging way, building up one another, pulling one another along. But in the past, what we've done is, is we've just kind of left each other to our own devices. And that's not what it's about. It never was. We are to be there for one another. So let us do that. I pray that we will do that. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will speak to our hearts, that you will uh, open up our, our hearts by your Holy Spirit, that we will be able to become unlocked, like Jonathan was in our spirits to love one another, to love those that maybe are unlovable, um, but to love our brothers and sisters in Christ and to start building our fellowship from within in a way that you have called us to do, but unfortunately we have failed to do. Please forgive us, and I ask, Lord, that you would give us the strength to move forward in your grace so that we may bring you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I love you all, and until next time, God bless. Say